Join this live for clear skin. Listen to me. It's just me. Hello. Hi, Riley. Hello. Hi, every I like, never go live during this time, and I assume because of time zones. I just woke up, so sorry if my voice is like, I don't know, cracking and weird. Um, but I wonder if there's so many people I can't reach with my lives because I'm always going live on Instagram at the same time. So I was like, you know what, let's let's do this at an earlier time. Also, join this live for clear skin. I can definitely, I'm thinking like, I don't know, let me know one time if you want me to do a comprehensive discussion on how I cleared my skin, because if I showed you my skin a year ago, you would be, I mean, I've, I've posted a few photos, um, but I like don't even wear skin makeup that often, and it definitely, like, I don't want to bring the illusion that it's like super, it's definitely... It is difficult, um, and it is it is like all about proper education, and it's less about having, um, you know, like the, the the fanciest products. I feel like that's you know people think that they need like super expensive. Also, I did go on Accutane, which was a big part of it, but I went off of it in like May, and my skin has still been very clear. Um, my skin is now clear. Hello, Jessie's electric guitar. Oh my god. I need to do like an electric guitar collection. Um, by the way, if you're watching this, you should go to Fender, like F-E-N-D-R, not my cat, Fender's Instagram, the guitar company, and let them know Jessie Page sent you. Because they sent me a guitar. I'm still, I'm gonna do like an official post for it because I died, but I, my dream is to work with them you do not understand and i want them to know that i'm a fan i just i love fender i need my cat after them okay so go to fender's instagram is is their instagram just fender let's see like is it just um i should know this fender instagram i wonder if my cat comes up first We'll get there, Fender. We want you to be famous. Oh, he's gone. He left. Um, it's just Fender on Instagram. F-E-N-D-E-R. They do bass guitars, by the way. Oh, yeah, they do amps. I keep forgetting about that. Damn, I don't follow them on here. I have to do that. I follow them on my private Instagram. Go follow on Fender. Go follow. Go, go comment. It's just Fender. Okay. Also, I posted this today on my story. If you're wondering why my hair isn't blue anymore, um, I... <laughs> Listen, content first. I, I just like love doing those honorary hair dyeing videos. So I use like so much. I, I, I'm really good at washing out color because I've had so many moments where from my like five years of having colored hair where I've just like accidentally dyed my hair a color that was too dark. So I, I know how to wash that shit out. Um, also the fader from Overtone. I did a brand deal with them and they're also just genuinely like incredible regardless. Like not sponsored to talk about them right now, but like they're actually awesome. Um, also go comment on Overtone's Instagram and let them know Jesse Page sent you. <laughs> I'm like, guys, let the brands know that I'm a stan. <laughs> uh, your hair looks so healthy. Thank you. I keep like posting about it, but my hair, okay, so like if you go back to my old content, it looks so much thinner. And what's so crazy too is not only does it look so much thinner, but I also had extensions and now I don't even like, I can't even imagine how hair, how thin my hair would look if I didn't have extensions. I'll have to find like a video, but if you've been following me for a while, um, you know, you're, you're probably, you probably think my hair looks thicker, but it's like even thicker if you think about how I had like extensions i had extensions because my hair was so thin and i think a really 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 big part of it was um was recovery honestly that was like when i noticed my hair changed and even like the the oh my god sorry that's my microphone even the like quality not quality um my hair is like naturally kind of wavy now um it's like i have so much hair it's like so voluminous i don't know what happened but i'm like i love it i literally got extensions for this look and my hair still wasn't this thick um my hair my like ears would always show through my hair um 
but at recovery like that's probably the biggest thing I noticed a difference with that was like easier for me was that my hair just like got all like thick and wavy and I feel like you know how your hair grows out that can definitely be a um because I cut my hair like right when I like was really starting to recover so you know a lot of this is my hair that I grew in after recovering um because obviously hair is dead so like the like consistency of the hair that you already grew doesn't I don't know <laughs> but it's it's just really cool to not have to depend on extensions um like let me pull up a photo um and and you'd think it would be like the color of my hair was maybe what made it thinner but like my hair is bleached now still and like color um contrary to popular belief like the color of your hair doesn't really damage it that much like adding blue on top of my hair doesn't really do much at all but um bleaching it is just really what damages it so like technically same amount of damage <laughs> i've always been doing to my hair but it's just thicker now um we need videos of how you produce your music at home. I would love to. I've gotten really good at it. I don't know if you've listened to the EP, but um, I've been doing this for all my songs now is I just record all my, I just like, uh, what? I just like got a track. And I, for that song, I literally just like purchased the rights to a track. And then I just like had a concept. I wrote a song, I came up with the melody and then I spent like, two hours like building harmonies i'm so fucking i'm got i've gotten so good at recording my own harmonies it's like fun for me now um and it's so crazy since i started doing so much like on my own um i listen to music and i i feel like i hear you know like i'm like oh that's a really good idea for like a harmony or like that sounded so good that added so much i don't know um can i answer questions let's see Oh, this, okay, this is just, like, in regards to something I posted on my story, but I guess this could be really interesting to talk about. So, okay, I grew up with really bad social anxiety. Like, I was just really shy and really, um, like, like, I'm trying to think of a good, ever since I was really young, I remember actually in like music class in elementary school this is like a core memory of mine we would all have to go around the room and sing our name and i literally got like an anxious response before i had to do it and i was so jealous of the people that could just be be like my name's isabella and just i don't know i was like my name is <laughs> uh yeah that was like i don't know i just i i felt whatever so i moved to la and i definitely was still shy and like socially anxious to an extent it was a little less socially anxious but more of just like quiet um and i think that's because i was like kind of in a transition point but i just kept on um i don't know i just kept on getting i think it was like living alone and you know when you live alone like you have to push yourself to go make plans and to you know that sort of thing so like i just i don't know i just i like became extroverted for like three years almost to an extent i i call it being an ambivert someone a friend once told me that and i thought it was a great way to describe me um but <laughs> there was a year where i was like like i would say pretty extroverted it was funny because my roommate like jen moved in and she's like She's like, no, you're not an introvert. You're so extroverted. You're never even here. You're always out. <laughs> um, and like now I think about that and I'm like, that feels like a foreign language to me. It's so weird. Like even like, okay, dating wise during COVID, you know, like I, I, that like gives me an anxious response. Like, you know, versus I would just find someone on, inst not find, so this is not dating wise, but like. I would become internet friends with someone and they'd be visiting me in LA and I would have like no, I would be like, let's hang out. Like it was such an easy thing for me. But since being in quarantine, like I feel like I've definitely gone back a few steps with social anxiety. Like like FaceTiming people sometimes gives me anxiety. Like so weird and so different from how I used to be. And like, 
when I'm with my close friends, I'm definitely, or like with you guys, like I, it doesn't show off, it doesn't show in my videos, cause like when I'm in, when I'm with people I'm comfortable with, like that's, that's my comfort point, like I'm comfortable with, with you guys and for the camera, I'm comfortable with my close friends. Hi! Uh, oh my god. My baby. Your paws are wet, ew. Um, but what was I saying? But when it comes to meeting new people, that's when I notice I get like super socially anxious and I'm like, oh my god, it's been so long. This is so weird. I don't know. Like, I just like don't, like I prefer to not do it slash I'm like so much more comfortable not doing it. And I think with social anxiety, I had to like keep pushing myself. And then I realized like, oh, I'm so scared of this thing. And cause a lot of anxiety is like creating fear and worry where like like excess fear for something that you know shouldn't like when i think of anxiety you know for some people it can like really show up with like you're always fearing about the future and your your brain just kind of like thinks about worst case scenarios blah 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 so like putting myself in that social situation multiple times was what made me realize oh like it's really not that scary you know like talking is great <laughs> like i love you know i love meeting new people and I feel like I just like haven't like used that muscle in so long and it's just not something I was born with um it's something that like I can really enjoy <laughs> like I, I can enjoy being social <laughs> I don't know I just haven't it's so weird I don't know if anyone else feels like they've like completely become more socially anxious since it makes a lot of sense though but I don't know I hope that makes someone feel better about this and now, Spender's relationship with Remy. So I saw Remy on the stairs last night. They've been, like, they've been together a lot less. I think, okay, to be honest, like, I think they moved really quickly. If you don't know, my cat's in love with a rat. They just moved too quickly. And I think that they are finally, you know, I think that they, they're not on a break. They're still together and in love. But I, I think that, you know, this is Fender's first relationship. I think that he is learning you know, that, like, you you can't, you know, like, like you, you also need to be independent from your partner in certain ways. And I think that's, that's a really important. I have the opposite fucking issue. I'm too independent when I'm, like, I'm just, I, like, I don't even know. It's, oh, my God. If I'm, like, first talking to someone, I, like, I'm, like, no, I want to spend my time alone. Like, what? I don't want to. You have, you have to, I have to fit you getting to, I don't know, I'm so, like, when I think about, and there's nothing wrong with this, but when I think about people that, like, wait around for someone to text them back, I've just never related to that. If anything, I'm the person that's just, like, I'm so busy, and I'm like, oh, shoot, right, I should, like, and it's not that I think I'm above anyone, I'm just, like, a very, honestly, sometimes to a little bit of a negative extent, you know, I'm, um, just, like, very, 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 very independent, um, which is probably the trauma, to be honest, <laughs> and just being shy for most of my life, I just learned how to do everything by myself, and I tend to do that, and that's really bad, you know, I'm, I'm always like, oh, but I could do this better, or I'd rather just do this myself, um, I, like, I don't know, I have this, like, weird need for, like, I need to have control over certain things I do, um, even with music, you know, like, I took control over most of it creatively. I just kind of, like, have been buying the rights to tracks and then just getting everything mixed and mastered. But, like, writing the song, melody, harmonies, the way it sounds, the marketing, all me, all just Jesse Page. So, with that, um, I, I feel like for me, though, that was kind of uh, with my first few songs, with the producers I worked with. I just didn't feel confident enough music wise to like really like it was really hard for me to stand my ground and like I would do it and I definitely did and I like the songs and I made it happen but like it was a hard for me and I, I just wanted to have control over it I don't know okay I'm gonna go I hope you all have a good day go comment on Fender's Instagram and let them know at Jesse Page sent you because I want another guitar okay that's your homework and listen, it's not, <laughs> listen, if I get another guitar, may, I will, I feel as if I would owe something to you guys. So maybe I should like do, cause I don't just want to do this just for me. I don't know. I could like do a concert with it or something. That could be.
be fun. Um, my voice is calming. Oh, that makes me happy. Is my voice low? I've been told my voice is low. I, um, since taking singing lessons, I've learned that I, like, speak a certain, I don't know, from, like, be. I just, I'm, like, trying to speak more like, hi, because that's better for chess voice. <laughs> you have to promise to release more music. I have one song that I have, like, have had finished for, like, a month and a half, and it's so fucking good. It's got great electric guitar in it, but I just, like, keep going back and forth about the single art, and, like, the single art obviously is important, but also I just like want to get the song out because I mean it's it's not hasn't been that long. It's been like one month since I released the EP, but you know like what else do I have to do right now? Oh my god! And like because I do everything myself, uh, making music is like relatively cheap for me. So it's like, <laughs> um, which I love. I I love it. I don't know. I just like doing things myself. I also like have enjoyed learning about it. I just like learning new things. I don't know. Release it. I know I need to. I think I just like make the single art super simple. Um, my hair is so thick. I'm like, wow. What the? Oh my God. Wow. All right. I love you.